viewers and subscribers welcome back to jamaican insider and this is our second video in our series of videos where we tour downtown kingston today we are looking at king street orange street and parade what to look out for of course we're going to give you some history we have to give you some um, jamaican culture we have to show you the people in their element and of course all around good fun so something is here for everybody stick and stay with us and watch the video to the end if however you are pressed for time you can definitely click on the timestamp in the description below so check that out as well so in our first video we looked at east street and duke street we looked at some of the major government business and offices i know some jamaicans may not even know what the institute of jamaica does or where it is located so if you want to see more information about those click the link in the description definitely recommend it and after doing that you can come and watch this video you can see it in the top right hand corner or in the description below if however you've seen that already just continue watching this video and enjoy the ride right now we're on ocean boulevard and we're turning on to orange street So now that we are on Orange Street, let's take a stop at the National Gallery of Jamaica. This was established in 1974. It is the oldest and largest public art museum in the Anglophone Caribbean. Of course, we know that Anglophone means English speaking. It has a comprehensive collection of early, modern and contemporary art from Jamaica along with smaller Caribbean and international holdings. So the National Gallery of Jamaica would host exhibitions throughout the year. But due to the big C that has been going on in the world since 2019, and we're still in 2020, still experiencing it, they are forced to go online and to host events and exhibitions virtually. So if you're interested, definitely check out their Instagram page and their YouTube channel. See the link in the description for more information. All right, on to our next stop. And this time we are going to get some fruits. Yeah man, so we're on Orange Street right now with the fruits man. Number one fruits man in Jamaica. Alright. Kingston yeah. Mall, Jamaica. You hear what the man say? The best fruit ever. What, we, what, what kind of fruit do you have? We have them in a variety. Yeah. Orange, banana, pineapple, sugar cane, we have them in Anna right now. Right. Sweetest grapefruit. You feel me I say? Yeah man. Papaya. Pineapple. Lovely ripe banana. One fifty about. Yeah, I swear to you. Very sweet. Because they had a one with the bed already. Yeah, man, Everton food, man. Two stars, Everton. Alright. Best food, man, for the planet. You see, you have June plum too. How do you sell the June plum? Well, the June plum, them, you know, them sweet, and you get them like $4 a dozen. Dollars for three of them. 
Uh, by a dollar we mean 100, okay? We 100, don't mean, yeah. We don't one, mean <laughs> we don't. one US or 100 US now. Alright. And we have a lovely guinea then. The guinea pig on a bag. You right. Eat like syrup. Oh gosh. If you eat one, you buy 10 bags. Mm -mm. Yeah man, it's all about fruits, you know? Yeah man, give it. thanks to Ant. Jamaica Insider. Big them up, big them up. Big them up every time. Jamaica Come. Insider. Can't right. get better than that. Can't get better than that. Down a town there. Down town with there. Yeah, yeah. Well advice for a Saturday morning. Right. <laughs> yes, that was Everton, the fruit man here on Orange Street. Anyway, let's continue. So one thing about downtown is uh, sometimes it's very difficult to find parking. So I thought I'll highlight this one here. This is known as the UDC car parking lot. So if ever you are in downtown and you want somewhere to park, now you know where to go. I hope you are enjoying the view here of Orange Street in downtown Kingston. Now let's listen to the sounds. Four and five is get fair shit. Can't fair shit a sailor. Four and five get fair shit. Can't fair shit a sailor. Four and five get fair shit. Fair shit a sailor. Four and five. Fair shit a sailor. Four and five get fair shit. Can't fair shit a sailor. Four and five get fair shit. Fair shit a sailor. Four and five get fair shit. Fair shit a sailor. Four and five is get fair shit. Alright, so that's it for Orange Street. Now we're on to King Street. And our first stop here will be the tax administration. This video was made on a Saturday, so that's why it's closed. Our second stop here on King Street will be the Supreme Court.
Now let's highlight some historical buildings here in downtown. The first would be the Church of St. Thomas the Apostle. An Anglican church was established in 1695. Excluding the clock tower, which we can see on the right, this structure was rebuilt in 1911 after the original structure was destroyed by the earthquake in 1907. The clock tower was added after World War I in memory of those who had died during the war. This church is located at the corner of King Street and South Parade. Located right across the street from the church is a monument to one of our national heroes, Bustamante. This monument of our former Prime Minister, Alexander Bustamante, stand guard in front of the William Grant Park. St. William Grant was a Labour leader in 1938 and was a close associate of the Right Excellent Sir Alexander Bustamante. This park wasn't always known as the St. William Grant Park. Before that, it was known as Victoria Park in honour of Queen Victoria of England, but after independence, it was renamed in honor of the great labor leader. As this video was made early in the morning, this park was actually closed, so I wasn't able to gain access. But one thing I can tell you, there are several monuments inside. One of the most important one is that of Queen Victoria. To the north of the park is a statue of the national hero, Red Excellent Norman Manley. Right across the street from the statue of Norman Manley is the Ward Theatre. As you can see, the Ward Theatre has seen some better days, but it was actually a gift presented to the city of Kingston in 1912 by Colonel Charles Ward, then Custos of Kingston. It occupies a site in downtown Kingston which has been in continuous use as a theatre since the 1770s. There are some plans in place to renovate the War Theatre to bring back some of his glorious days. So we have to stay tuned for that. So, so far we have identified and highlighted two of Jamaica's national heroes, Bustamante and Norman Manley. However, we have to highlight and mention, pay our respect to a Venezuelan his name is Simeon Bolivar. There is actually a cultural center here in downtown Kingston named in his honor. He actually resided here in downtown in 1815. You can read about the Venezuelan national hero here. Our next historical building is that of the Coke Methodist Church here in downtown Kingston. It was named after Dr. Thomas Coke, founder of the Methodist Missions in the West Indies. It was built in 1840 on the site of the first Methodist chapel here in Jamaica. This church was severely damaged in the 1907 earthquake and the present building dates from that time. It was rebuilt in the basic neo-Gothic style of the original church. It is one of the few remaining red brick structures in Kingston.
all right viewers and subscribers i hope you've enjoyed today's video as you can see i'm in beta for buying so i'll catch up with you guys later please leave us a like comment and share let us know what you liked about this video and please 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 subscribe if you haven't done so as yet and click the notification bell that way you will know when we update or upload another video stay safe